So there are many ways of proving that two triangles are congruent that are pretty well known, such as SSS, SAS, ASA, um, AAS, uh, basically any situation um, where you have certain types of uh, corresponding angles and sides that we call A and S. But angle side side is not sufficient to prove that two triangles are congruent, and here's a visual demonstration why. Um, so in triangle one, we have um, two sides, uh, the blue side and the purple side, and next to the purple side is an angle. And so we have triangle one. Triangle two for now looks exactly the same, but with a simple rotation, I'm able to show that there are actually two triangles that fit this description. Um, so let's do that animation again. Um, basically, you rotate it, and you have now an obtuse triangle that has the same two sides, the blue and the purple side, and the same angle. And as an intuitive explanation of why this works, think about the, that there are two forces going against each other here. The rotation um, causes the black line to go inward, but the length of the purple line, which is longer than the blue line, causes it to be at a further distance. So those two forces go against each other and eventually an equilibrium is restored where the black line goes exactly against the end of the blue line and we have another triangle. What this means is that actually sometimes angle side side does work. Um, when? Well, if the side opposite the angle is bigger than the adjacent side, angle side side works because only one triangle can be formed. And to give you some intuition about this, here's the animation. I could rotate this as much as I want, and I know the animation isn't perfect because of the software I used. I can rotate it as long as I want, but because the blue side is so much longer than the purple side, um, there is no, it's no chance of it coming back out and reaching the end of the blue line. The black line could never touch the end of the blue line again. And that's because the purple line is so short. So um, you, in the first example, there are two countervailing forces. The purple side was long enough, and the rotation um, moved it back in. But in this time, the rotation only moves it back in. There's no countervailing force because the purple side is so small. So if you know that the side opposite the angle is bigger than the adjacent side, you can use ASS. But usually this isn't taught um, on the high school level, and you might kind of confuse yourself a little bit. But I still think it's worth uh, discussing this point. Okay, thank you.